Oh my god. <clears throat> ah, that is damn good coffee. That is damn good coffee. Hi everyone, it's Elliot here. There's some news that I am bursting to talk about. I've literally just come home from my day job, because uh, believe it or not, this is not my day job. Not yet, anyway. Uh, I'm not even taking off my jacket. That's really rude of me. But I've been thinking about this news for, I, I mean, I don't know when it was announced, actually. It was a few days ago. But I've been thinking about it nonstop, okay? The news I'm talking about is that Parasite, the film by Bong Joon-ho, Oscar-winning Parasite, it won all of the Oscars, all of them, uh, is coming to the Criterion Collection later this year, 2020. And this is huge news. Like, I, I'm just speechless. I, Yeah, that's the end of the video. Now, I'm going to try and say a few things. This is massive news for multiple reasons. So reason number one, it's massive for us as the audience because Parasite is a tremendous film and we're going to be able to get it as part of the Criterion Collection. Now I know that it's already available on other Blu-ray labels already in just a kind of standard disc kind of setup, but you know that Criterion bringing it out is going to bring out the, the best special features about the film. We know that Bong Joon-ho is a lifelong fan of Criterion Collection. So we know this is going to be good. Second reason. This is great for Criterion in general, for their business, because they just picked up the most talked about film of the time. Like at the moment, no one is talking about a film more than Parasite. It just won Best Picture at the Oscars, the first international film to ever do so, which is crazy. That's unprecedented. In 90 odd years, that has never happened before. And it goes to a South Korean film. So that's crazy. And of course, Bong Joon-ho won Best Director. Um, him and his co-writer won for Best Screenplay. Uh, and of, of course, it won Best International Film. It would be weird if it didn't win Best International Film, but won Best Picture. So that was kind of a given. But for Criterion, this is great news because they're going to sell so many copies of this. And it's going to get so many people into Criterion in general. So many people are going to discover foreign cinema and, you know, independent cinema, cult cinema, all the kind of niche gems that Criterion release. These are going to be discovered for the first time by so many people just because of Parasite coming to the Criterion Collection. So that is fantastic news. It's also massive because this will be the third film from South Korea to enter the Criterion Collection. Now, if that doesn't sound like a lot of titles to you, that's because it's not. Because this will be the third South Korean title out of over 1,000 titles. So Korea is woefully underrepresented in the Criterion Collection as it stands. There are only two other films... There's The Housemaid by Kim Ki-young in one of the um, Martin Scorsese World Cinema Project box sets. And then there's Secret Sunshine by Lee Chang-dong. So those are the only two other South Korean films. So we have Parasite joining. But not just Parasite, because I forgot to mention this because I'm so bad at this. Memories of Murder, but one of Bong Joon-ho's uh, previous films, is also coming to the Criterion Collection which is tremendous. It's just, this is, I say this all the time, but this is the best time to be a fan of film. There's never been a better time. Like it just keeps getting better because we always have access to what came before, but then we're getting all these new things as well. And it's just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So this will hopefully get more people into South Korean cinema. And if this sells well, in the Criterion Collection, which it absolutely will. This is probably going to bring more and more Korean cinema to the Criterion Collection. 
there are so many modern Korean directors that could enter. You know, Park Chan-wook, he has so many great films that I could see as part of the Criterion Collection. Um, some of Bong Joon-ho's other films could also be part of it. Um, Lee Chang-dong, some of his films, um, like Oasis and uh, Burning. Burning, his most recent film, is incredible, absolutely incredible. And uh, Poetry. Uh, and then you've got other directors like Hong sang Su, um, and then other directors that are just slipping my mind at the moment. But it, this is a great time. This is a great time for Korean cinema coming to a wider audience. And I know that there is already Blu-ray discs out there of Parasite, but everyone now is just going to wait for the the Criterion edition. It's just going to be, it's just going to be amazing. It's the stuff of dreams. This is what I dream about. I dream about films that I love coming to the Criterion collection. And I know ultimately it doesn't mean anything because for a film like Parasite, Parasite is not some old dusty gem that needed to be restored. It's a brand new film that was going to get brought out on Blu-ray anyway, and people were going to talk about anyway. But what this means for Parasite, unlike some old unearthed film, this is going to bring it to a wider audience, which is then in turn going to get people to come back to other gems of cinema and to deep delve deeper, you know, into cinema. So that... <laughs> I keep repeating it, but this is just a great thing. And I realise that I'm rambling. I'm sure I was going to say something else as well. Honestly, I can't. I can't think. Well, Memories of Murder as well. I didn't speak much about that. But Memories of Murder is a film that I've wanted to come out on Blu-ray for ages. Absolutely ages. And I honestly thought it was never going to happen. Uh, I actually thought recently because... I know Arrow Video have been releasing some of Park Chan-wook's films, like Old Boy and The Vengeance Trilogy. Uh, I thought Arrow might look at picking up some Bong Joon-ho films. But obviously with Parasite being such a like a cultural zeitgeist, everyone's talking about it. Uh, Criterion getting it feels like such a natural fit. Especially because Parasite is a film that uh, pulls on so many influences that are already readily available in the Criterion Collection, you know. Just as an example, many of the Hitchcock films, they are referenced in Parasite. Um, and there's even like a little, there's a little Easter egg. You actually see a picture of Hitchcock on a book within Parasite. So that's a nice little connection. But yeah, I think that's it. That's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to get it off my chest because I've been thinking about this an awful lot. And I'm truly excited. Uh, if you've not already checked it out, check out my podcast episode that I did with my dad on Parasite, um, episode four of My Dad Versus World Cinema. We kind of, we delved into it a bit. We didn't go totally deep into it because we only talked for about half an hour, 40 minutes. And Parasite, if you've seen it, is a film that you could talk about for forever. You could just talk forever about Parasite. And at this point, if someone said to me, you know, Parasite is the only film you could watch for the rest of your life, I mean, I'd be annoyed because I'd want to watch other films. But Parasite is that good that I might, I might consider it. I might take them up on that offer. So there we go. That's my thoughts on Parasite joining the Criterion Collection and why I believe this will be one of the biggest announcements, one of the biggest titles to ever come to the Criterion Collection. It's just tremendous, absolutely tremendous. So there you go. Let me know what you think about Parasite. Let me know what you think about the news of Parasite and Memories of Murder coming to the Criterion Collection. And let me know if you're going to pick it up, if you're going to buy it day one, because I certainly will. So I'll see you in the next video and enjoy watching great films. Well, we went to see the uh, wonderful film Parasite. Parasite, which is, which is a South Korean film, and it's relevant because it's nominated for a bunch of Oscars. And I think it should win. Well, I think it should win as well. I think I would love it to win everything. Um, 
whether it will or not, we'll find out this time tomorrow. By the time you're listening to this, you you'll already, already know. know. But for now, we're keeping our fingers crossed. 